NBA player Josh Giddy finds himself in a controversy over alleged inappropriate behavior with an underage girl, sparking a heated debate on social media and casting shadow over his promising future. As the public awaits Giddy's response, the incident raises question about the potential consequences he may face both legally and professionally. Josh Giddy, who's 21, is currently playing for OKC Thunder, and he's embroiled in a heated controversy surrounding allegations of engaging an inappropriate girl with a girl who is believed to be inappropriate behavior with a girl who is believed to be below the legal age of consent. The incident first came to light on social media platform X, formerly known as Twitter, quickly capturing public attention and igniting a debate about the disturbing nature of the video. Giddy's case, like many others in professional sports, has sparked significant public interest, facing challenges and scrutiny that accompany a career in this field. The allegations against Giddy have prompted worries about his conduct, possible legal repercussions. Josh Giddy, born on October 10, 2022, is an Australian professional basketball player pres presently fi affiliated with the Oklahoma City Thunders. <clears throat> Giddy, with the height of 6'9", serves as the primary point guard for the Thunder. And the Thunder actually are looking very good this year um, in terms of ha them having a backcourt. I mean, things are looking good for the future. Uh, SGA, who is um, at the cusp or at the brink of being a true NBA star, uh, some might argue he already is, just doesn't have the notoriety yet. But in terms of statistics, he is you know star level but um with josh giddy uh, williams and sga they have a promising team in terms of longevity and building for the future but i'm pretty sure this is going to um go ahead and shake up that lineup being that it looks like josh giddy's future with the oklahoma city thunder looks very uncertain um giddy has um he he's he's been pretty good for the 2023 season he's maintained consistent averages of 12 points 5.6 rebounds and four assists um half a block 0.8 steals um his he's earned recognition for his potential on-court achievements with fans dedicated on social media pages but damn um this isn't something to um kind of oh what i wanted to say was chet holmgren excuse me god bless me but chet holmgren so there's this tweet somebody had tweeted right and um playoff shay is his name on uh x he tweeted josh giddy and chet holmgren gotta have the best chemistry in the nba they never leave each other's side and there's pictures of josh giddy and chet just posing on and off the court seeming like they have a pretty good vibe with each other and then um, recently, Chet Holmgren, somebody went to Chet Holmgren page and they typed in Josh Giddy's name. I'm looking at the screenshots. That's why I'm describing it. And they were unable to find Josh Giddy in the following list. So it looks like Chet Holmgren has even deleted the tweet where he said, me and bro locked in for sure of the Twitter user posting a tweet filled with pictures of Josh Giddy and Chet Holmgren um, enjoying each other's vibe. And he retweeted that and re quote quote tweeted it. Sorry, I haven't used Twitter or X in a while. And he said, me and Twin locked in for show. And now as of these allegations, it's not even looking so good. So, um, man. Man, man, man. It's, uh. Oh, man. The girl happens to be allegedly 15, right? Um, There's still, well, the picture is right there as we can see, but in terms of more information being released, I'm pretty sure there's some kind of investigation going on. But um, I see a tweet here, Josh Giddy ruthlessly compared to Carl Malone by fans over alleged underage girl scandal. Um, obviously, Carl Malone was way before my time, but I did hear some things very similar to this situation. But um, as I'm going through these articles and looking through excuse me, some of the information that's been put out, someone went ahead and 
brought up some t- some t- oh man promising young kid um i hate to say it and i'm not anyone to to go ahead and condemn someone as like their career is over they're unredeemable i believe that we're all redeemable i don't want to sound like this all positive happy uh, go lucky guy i mean i get it but at the same time like 15 is too far bro like 15 anything underage obviously that's why it's called underage but 15 and the type of playbook he got in terms of women the nigga can just scroll on his instagram and clap things literally every single night as an nba player can go to different cities as they play different teams and sleep with different women and enjoy himself responsibly consensually but when it comes to a situation like this, ay ay ay. You know what? Who I'm interested to hear. Obviously, you're not gonna hear him say anything due to the um, due to the fact that he's a rising superstar, right? I wonder what SGA has to think about this. Like, I, I genuinely, truly do. It's obvious we've seen Chet Holmgren's Twitter. Um, he doesn't even follow Josh Giddy anymore. So. Do y'all think in the NBA that another team is going to pick him up and OKC are just are getting ready to move him like. um, Do you think he's done out the league like he's he, that's it. No team wants to even deal with this type of situation. It's too much bad publicity. It's too much. You know what I mean? Or do y'all think that um, it's going to be swept under the rug and he's going to be back on the court? Like, oh, man, bro, this is such a, a, a Mickey situation because it's like she's 15 at the end of the day. And we always want to advocate to protect the kids and protect our youth. But Josh Giddy's a kid, too. But then you can't say that because, you know what I mean? Oh, man. But, yeah, man, what do y'all think?